Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque HSE. Then I'll take you for driving it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Range Rover Evoque 2 litre TD4 HSE Dynamic. 2018 on a 67 plate. Fantastic condition. Has done 71,457 miles. Fuel economy. Urban, 39.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 53.3 miles per gallon and combined is 55.39 miles per gallon. 0 to 60 is eight seconds. Top speed is 121 miles per hour out of a four cylinder, 178 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Another really nice car that we've uh, managed to source for ends red, the black pack, black vents, black grill. It's got the full glass panoramic roof and it's also got these roof bars, which uh, look rather nice too. Rear privacy glass, the black window surrounds, multi-spoke alloys, we've got the plastic wheel arch protector there, silver Range Rover badge, the gloss black grill, front parking sensors, again you've got the black kind of vent surrounds too and the kind of little black flashes underneath the headlamps, black vents on the bonnet black vents on the side, black panels at the back here, the integrated rear tailgate spoiler and the double shark fin aerial there, reversing camera just underneath there. Now it's not power open, power close, so you've got to use your arm. <laughs> not too difficult is it? Heavy duty rear rubber load cover, then that hard load cover itself which flips up out of the way power sockets in the back here it's bitter today <laughs> and reversing sensors there the black bit in the center which matches this and again the light surrounds and then the chrome exhaust tips blimey it's cold out there <laughs> It was absolute beautiful sunshine yesterday at shirt sleeves. Today it's freezing. So carpet mats. It's got the Meridian sound system. As I say, this lovely big glass panel in the roof here. Airbags in the A pillar, the B pillar, the C pillar, the D pillar, the roof, uh, the seats. Um, nice, nice safe environment for you and your family. We've got. Isofix rear child seat anchor points down here, the rear centre armrest. It's sat quite upright in here. Um, it's probably more for a couple of adults and a couple of perhaps grown up kids. But you know, I, I could I could do a few miles in the back here, be alright. The black perforated leather seats. Just a just a again a, a really, really Honest, lovely vehicle. Um, another good find by by John. Um, somebody was asking me where we find our cars. John and myself. Well, when I'm when I'm not doing something else, we uh, we spend all day looking for them. So uh, plus we've got lots of contacts. We've both been in the job a long, long time. Plus people ring us up from YouTube and ask if we want to buy the vehicle. So. Um, you know, that's a, a great source uh, of, of good vehicles too. So thanks for that. Anyway. Let's go for a ride. Oh, <laughs> apparently I've got to do a key toss for one of my viewers. So that's the key. Put on the brake, start it up. Just tell you the service history. 27th of 9, 2018 at 11,434 miles Stratstone. 24th of 2nd, 2020 at 24,119 miles Roger Young Land Rover. 15th of 4th, 2021. We're not sure of the mileage, they've not written it in. Bell Engineering, they had a new Haldex pump. 17th of 1st, 2022 at 44,884 miles, Roger Young Land Rover. 
1st of the 2nd, 2024 at 70,262 miles, Atlantic Motor Services, and it had the cam chain done there. Okay, great thing with this is if I'll just borrow my charging lead from there, and if I plug USB in, I'll plug the USB in there and then into my phone. If you just watch that, I'll just click that up. You'll see there Apple CarPlay. So if I just press on Apple CarPlay, allow Apple CarPlay with Range Rover Evoque, allow. And then that, that's the best system ever. Um, it's Bluetooth audio streaming, Bluetooth hands-free, you've got sat-nav. But as you can see there, the Apple CarPlay unit mirrors your phone and you can do anything from there just by using where's the voice control, the voice activation one is there. So dead easy, you don't have to touch your mobile, you can do anything, play music, send texts, whatever you want to do, all from this. So this has got the Apple CarPlay as well, which really, really is the, the best, the best thing ever. It's, uh, it's so easy to use. All you need is that button there. Oh, actually, let's just get the car's got a heated seat. It's also got a heated steering wheel, heated front screen. Just, you know, just beautiful. Not as beautiful as that, but nice all the same. So let's see. go 20 mile an hour along here lovely car finished in forens red with the black upholstery I just need to move back there it's got electric memory seats so I'll just get that memory one I've got my mirrors right the steering wheel is height and reach adjustable but that's a lever underneath here you have to undo that so you, you can set your mirrors and your seats and then memorize it. Your Apple CarPlay, navigate to PR5 for EA. Setting directions to Preston, PR5 for EA. So there you go, it's already got that. It showed you go for a couple of it uh, it showed you a go button for a Make short a while sharp left turn onto shuffling fields lane then turn left and then after the go button it just does it automatically you can click go or you just leave it and you don't have to touch anything In but about it, one and a half miles turn left onto Gregson lane but the good thing as well the voice control voice activation cancel navigation ending navigation Thank you. Shuffle music. Playing all songs from Apple Music. Or you can play a specific track. Play Sweet But Psycho. Here's Sweet But Psycho by Ava Max. Fantastic system. Just, uh, you know, you don't have to do anything. Got everything there. You want to send a text. Text Barry. What do you want to say to Barry? Just out in an evoke, testing the Apple CarPlay. It says, just out in an evoke, testing the Apple CarPlay. Send it. Yes, please. Done. You see, a message has come up there already. You've heard my phone beep. You don't have to do anything regarding the phone. All you have to do, press the voice activation for a couple of seconds, read text. Barry said, just out in an evoke testing the Apple CarPlay. 
Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Those are all your messages. It's an absolutely brilliant system. Listen to your audio books, your audio books there. Click on there and you can pick any one of those. It is just the best system ever. Zap map, if you've got an electric car, of course, that's, you can, you know, route out the chargers, YouTube music, Spotify music, um, just, just everything. It's a, it's a great system. Back to the car. So we've got paddle shift here. On left and right paddles. Left is down. Right is up. That's your heated steering wheel button there. You've got your telephone controls here, voice activation, your cruise control on the right hand side. Range Rover cruise control, really, really simple. I'll just show you when we get on the motorway. But set, then you can increase your speed, decrease your speed. If you knock it off, the resume button's there and the cancel is just at the back. We're going to go up the M65 towards Blackburn. It's only going to be a short trip today. Um, we're, uh, it's Friday. We're under pressure. Got cars going out tomorrow. Trying to get them ready. But also, we've got to get the car's advertised to sell them. Just get up to 70, 70's there, click the plus, and that set the cruise at 70. I can reduce it clicking there, or increase it clicking upwards. We've got heated front screen, that's your heated seats, Get it down on one. Your terrain response here. Little louvered door to cover your cup holders. On the right hand side, we've got electric window switches. We've got power folding door mirrors. Press both the buttons at once, and they're short and open. Up here you've got your global locking and closing. And again, we're just doing 70 behind this Waitrose wagon. Just knock it back on, perhaps 62. Meridian speakers, the, the sound is just tremendous. I'll just knock that back over, put it back on. You can set, play the same track again, or you can shuffle random tracks. Just do that, click that on again. It's, uh, the sound, Meridian speakers, they, they're just fantastic. But you, can, you don't have to use Apple CarPlay, that's only when it's plugged in. But also, when it's plugged in, your phone's charging. So your phone's always, um, you know, you, you, your phone is always charged up. So Bluetooth is handy, but connected by USB, your phone's always charged. It's, uh, you know, it's really no problem. If you just want to use Bluetooth and Bluetooth telephone, then, then that's fantastic. For instance, if I want to call somebody, again, voice activation, Call Barry. Calling Barry, iPhone. So there you go. And you can see it's ringing me. So I could just, I could answer that phone call just by clicking the green button here, or I can dink it by doing that. Very, very good and easy system. Come off here. Drives fantastic. I've got the aircon on to keep my cameras cool 
um, especially this one. This is a, the new 8K camera that's just come out, so I'm hoping for big things and good resolution from that to be able to, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing any demonstrations, to be able to crop in and not lose too much definition. I could really do with a butty van being here because I'm starving. But it's not. So what else? In this car, there is a um, dash cam. It's front and rear. If it works, we've not tested it. If it works, it works, it's good. If it doesn't, um, you know, it's, it's not covered, but you can have it with pleasure. If it doesn't work, we can soon take it out, but it, it isn't covered. Um, nice, nice car. The, you can move the front central armrest forward like so, or back. Nice and clean. Stop start off there. You've got hill descent, not on any hills, so can't really test it at the moment but it's all good nice sport seats just lumbar support yep just blowing that up in my back lovely looking car get that heated steering wheel on again You've got front parking sensors, rear parking sensors, high pressure headlamp wash, just lovely to drive. Dash, left hand side you've got speedo, right hand side rev counter, in the centre you've got digital speedo, at the top and time left shows you your stop start is switched off, then coolant temperature bottom left. fuel gauge bottom right and top right is outside temperature you've also got let's see I click OK there I can flip between you, you go through the information display in the center I can't actually see it because I've just got a little camera there and uh, all the information that you could possibly need and then some they so that's I find Apple um, sat nav or the or the sat nav on my iPhone to be better than the one that's in the cars these days it's constantly updated whereas you know if you've got an SD card or something for the sat nav then uh, you've got to get a new one every 12 months so the audio system in cars these days is really pretty redundant, I would say. Far better off just putting the interface, the Apple CarPlay or the Android system in uh, and save a lot of money on cars. 12 months down the line, you know, it's redundant. And everybody changes the phone now, time and time again. So that would be the best thing. If we want to save the planet, stop making radio stuff that nobody uses. Uh, go back to basics nice and comfortable seats that, that's about it that's that's all I can tell you it's just another lovely Range Rover that we've got so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye bye